Hi, so this is going to be a little uh, session to show how we can go from a chord sequence to a final production. And I'll be using the high vibe guitar to help me to do this. So step one is a chord sequence. So A minor, C, F, and G. Okay, those are our chords. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is spice up the chords a bit. Uh, so for the A minor, I'll leave this as it is. For the C, uh, I'm going to play a C add 9. So that's basically putting, adding the uh, D note here. I kind of like the sound of that. For the F, instead of doing a classic F, I'm going to do an F major 7. And for the G, the G chord, I'll play a G sus4, go resolving into a G. So those are our chords. The next step is finding a melody to fit over those chords. So to find a melody, I'm going to use the system of guide tones. So the guide tone essentially is the third of a chord. Okay, so you've got to know a bit your music theory. So for example, for the uh, A minor chord, the third is the note C, which is here. But I'll actually play it here on the third string because it gives me a bit more sustain. For the C chord, uh, the uh, guide tone is E. So the note E could either be on the open high string. Well, I'm going to play it down here. There again, just to give it a bit more uh, sustain to the note. For the F chord, the guide tone is the note A here. And for the G chord, the third of the chord is here. I'm going to approach, however, the, the last one here by resolving into it. That is, I'm going to add an, an extra note to give it a bit more resolution. So I've got the chord sequence. I've got an idea of the note choices for the melody. Now I'm going to use the guitar to see what all of that sounds like. So I'm going to use uh, the looper and record the chord sequence. is using the integrated looper to play back the sequence. So now uh, the guide tones, what do they sound over that chord sequence? So first step, just the guide tone. going to slide into each of those guide tones from below. And there we have the melody. The next step is going to be recording. So the next step is recording. So for recording, the first thing I always do is lay down a guide drum track. Uh, and in this instance, for the bass, uh, I prefer to call up for some outside inspiration. Uh, a good friend of mine, session player, Roger Innes. And Roger provided some double bass and some fretless bass. So let's see what this sounds like. For your information, the what you can hear here concerning the High vibe is the direct di'd sound. It's not. I'm not using a microphone. Let's listen to it. Thank you. 